That I was a big fan of Soma is not exactly a secret. I'm a big fan of frictional games in general. I absolutely loved Amnesia The Dark Descent, not so much with The Machine for Pigs, which of course was developed by the Chinese room and not frictional games, but Soma was excellent. I do have a full playthrough on this channel if you haven't seen it already, I suggest you do. It is a fantastic game and perhaps pick it up yourself if you like your horror. But Frictional Games have posted a rather detailed breakdown of Soma's post-release performance, revealing, among other things, that while this, it's not performing as they hoped, it's still on its way to breaking even. Now, I'm going to go through the best bits of their post, but if you want to read the whole thing, it is linked in the description below. It is rather lengthy, so do get yourself comfy before starting to read it. But basically, it reveals that the current sales for Soma sit around the 250,000 mark, which is about 20 to 30,000 away from Frictional Games' break even point. After that, the game will officially be in profit. Now, those numbers aren't exactly mind blowing, especially after Firewatch beat 500,000 after only a month. They do show there's potential for the studio to build on what's already accomplished with Soma, and that it is almost profitable, almost. And they said, quote, Soma was a really ambitious project which took five years to develop, used a load of external help and had a big chunk of money spent on a live action series and so forth, making it a very costly affair. Yet Soma is well on the way to becoming profitable just after six months. Despite not being a runaway success, this makes us a lot less worried about making another game of similar scope. And regarding sales, he said, quote, Given that the daily sales are still solid, about 125 units a day, we have regular boosts from various sale events. This is bound to happen before this year is over. While this is a good result for us, it is by no means earth shattering. For instance, Firewatch, which has a quite a few elements in common with Soma, sold over 500k in just a month, so there's obviously rumour for Soma to sell a lot more. Now, as well as touching on the sales figures for Soma, it also touches on modding, which obviously was a thing that kept Amnesia living long past the campaign itself. Really good custom stories became a thing on YouTube and just in general for Amnesia players and finding a really well-crafted one. Like, for example, White Knight was pretty damn rare, but so worth it, IMO. Sadly, it seems that the modding community around Soma just has not had the same success. And the post from Frictional reads, quote, Unfortunately, the modding community around Soma hasn't really taken off so far. Only five custom stories, two on ModDB and three on Steam Workshop, have been released. And while it's amazing that people spend time making mods for Soma at all, we expected that there would be a few, few more. Just about everything in the game is controlled via a script and modding allows you to pr replace any file, making it much more powerful than an amnesia. Now, obviously there are various factors, and this is out of quote now, as to why Soma just hasn't seen the success that, that it did, um, as amnesia did, sorry. Now one of the things that happened with Amnesia, of course, is that it struck at exactly the right time. It was a fantastic, atmospheric, well-paced survival horror game that was actually scary. Back when Amnesia came out, that wasn't a thing. Horror games were your dead space, your action games were the horror veneer if you're doing well. Amnesia came along and bam, horror was back. Amnesia is the reason we've had such a resurgence of horror, at least one of the reasons. And of course it was hugely popular on YouTube, which undoubtedly contributed to Amnesia's success. Now obviously I've played Soma, plenty of other people have played Soma, but it's not been as talked about as Amnesia, at least as far as I've seen. And of course, it's not as popular for YouTubers such as myself to play the mods after the game itself, just because the game itself wasn't as popular as Amnesia, if that makes any sense. But not to worry if you are a modder for Soma or thinking about modding, they aren't giving up on modding, and they're still going to be supporting that and for example there's some interesting mods in the way for example a very fitting scp style custom story now the last thing i want to touch on from frictional's post is where they discuss their future and how that in future they will aim to differentiate their releases from one another in order to, in order to avoid a situation like this where its audience has almost forced to go from one horror game to the other so basically when soma came out it obviously cannibalized what there was left of the amnesia audience 
and they say, quote, Related to the above is our new internal development strategy. For the first time in company history, we're now developing two games at the same time. This will require non-trivial changes in how we manage the team, but in the end we're very sure it'll be worth it all. By having two projects going at the same time, we can release games at much higher frequency. In turn, this lets us be more experimental, as we don't have to rely as much on each new game becoming a big money generator. We're still in the early phases of this transition, but it's shaping up well, really well, sorry, so far. And they also speculate that one of the things that hurt Soma was that it was, of course, a sort of crossbreed between sci-fi and horror, with the horror elements, to be honest, feeling a little tacked on at times. That's not to say I dislike Soma, I loved Soma, it's still one of my favourite games, but uh, it, it's not amnesia in terms of the horror. Personally, I think it surpassed amnesia a lot but in the story, but obviously people were looking for horror here, it's frictional, you know? And to be honest, I want to see them spread their wings, expand outside this very nice little bubble they've got for themselves. They can't just keep releasing, hey, here's a horror game where you can't fight and you can only hide from monsters. Eventually, people start asking for something new, even if it's only a minor twist. And I hope that frictional games do see huge success and that Soma eventually becomes profitable for them. It sounds like it's not very far away, so... With any luck, it will be. I would have preferred for Soma to have sold Gangbusters. It's a fantastic game. But obviously, that's not the reality of the situation. I can only hope that it continues to do well for them in the future and that we see some really creative stuff from Frictional as the years go on. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.